How's it going everyone? I'm Isle and I bring you some more StarCraft 2 action from the pro gamers. Up first we have our red Protoss player from South Korea playing for Dragon Kaizi Gaming. It is Hero. His opponent, a Zerg player from Finland in the blue. He is from Basilisk. It is Serral. This is a best of three series played at the Gamers 8 tournament and the first map up is Royal Blood. Now we are looking at the highest ranked Zerg player in the world versus the highest ranked Protoss player in the world. I think Hero and Max Pax are kind of fighting for that top position. Um, Hero has the advantage that he's playing offline tournaments and I think uh, were it not for that, could be a little bit more interesting. So we'll see what the two best in the world for their respective races are going to do against each other. In terms of openings here, it seems pretty standard for both players. We have a Stargate coming up for Hero, and we have a hatch into a gas into a pool. Drone's being pulled out of gas for Serral, and he should very soon be going for his third base. Now uh, you'll probably take him on this side. Overlord has gone in, it's had a good little scout around, hasn't seen the Stargate, but doesn't really need to. He can tell by the timing of the Warp Gate research that it is going to be a Stargate opener. Now oh, there we go, we have the third base coming up. Okay, I guess he takes this one because this has a ramp leading up. This one is at the bottom, a little bit harder to defend. Anyway, Adept is shading in, trying to see if it can just kind of get an idea of what's going on in the Zerg base. We have a single Oracle while two Adepts are shading around. Serral so far just defending with some Queens and uh, four Zerglings. And will anything happen here? Alright, the Queens are going to relocate again. Those Adepts are on pretty low health. Round of Zerglings coming up, a dozen Zerglings coming up from Zeral. Zeral? Why, why can I not say S and Z? Ooh. Two workers, three workers, one Adept going down, four workers. Not too bad there, not too bad. Decent value. Ooh, hello, Mr. Oracle coming in at a great angle. And that's seven drones all together. Serral in response going to send the Zerglings across, see if he can get any damage done. Maybe get a nice cancel on that third Nexus. This stage we have two Oracles out. Third one busy being produced. <laughs> they don't quite have energy to get rid of those Zerglings just yet. But it's going to be enough of a deterrent to chase Serral away. Roach Run coming up. Twilight, Forge, everything really normal. These players most probably are not going to be out, tr not going to be try to out trick each other. That was a terrible sentence. Just pretend that sentence didn't happen. Because they kind of know each other. They know that they're playing against yeah, the best in the world. So it's going to be straight up macro games, I, I assume, for the most part in this series. And we'll see if it goes into mid game or late game. And who will take it in the end? Cell's getting his spores up. He's got a round of roaches marching across the map. No roach speed just yet. Is he on lair yet? No, he's still on hatchery tech. All right, fair enough. These zerglings are slowly being cut down in numbers. Now we have Hero's favorite upgrade in the game. Actually, I don't know if it is. I'm just assuming. He loves blink. He uses it all the time. Ooh, queenies. A little bit of a queen walk. Not something we see every day. Now, obviously, they cannot transfuse, but they do help against those oracles. So we're going to be targeting the third year. Slash not targeting the third. It's going to go straight into the natural. There's nothing blocking here. Ravages are going to start biling down. If you can get the cyber core, that's going to be brilliant. Queens are not able to quite get into the fray just yet. Serral trying to reposition. There's only really stalkers here. Shield battery does finish. There are enough pylons that... Uh, it can't really be deep out easily. There's four oracles dealing a lot of damage. The queens are trying to get the health down. 
Shield battery overcharge being used, but the shield battery does go down. One Oracle falls. Serral pushing in very powerfully into this position, and Hero is scrambling to get any form of defense in. These queens are slowly marching their way in. More Zerglings, more Ravagers. It's just full on attack here from Serral. Ooh, nice. Gets one of the Oracles over there. Slowly, I think Hero's going to be defending this. But that's a lot of workers. That's 14 workers going down. The sentry falls. But that should be a bit of a cleanup now. 14 workers. That's not bad. The cyber core has been replaced already. So Hero is quite on top of that one. Economically speaking, they are on even grounds. But we do have Chrono Boosts available. Upgrade wise, pretty similar. But plus one is going to be finishing here for Hero right now. That's going to put him in a very good spot. With the third Nexus, I think Hero's going to be able to make enough workers here. I like what Serral did there. I think there was a good attack, but I don't quite know if it did enough. That being said, the Oracles did fall. They're very expensive. And as you can see at this stage, Hero doesn't really want to remake them. Because they are quite pricey in terms of the gas. Ooh, almost a nice catch there by the Zerglings. Serral still hasn't fully saturated his uh, third base. He's getting a bunch of drones out now. Getting his Evo Chamber up as well. It's going to be Hero's time to get a little bit aggressive as soon as that War Prism finishes up. Right now the Stalker's just kind of moving around trying to see if they can catch an Overlord or two. Very, very tight. Initially I thought that attack was just going to win. And yeah, it kind of didn't. <laughs> Here, worker count. Here, worker. Meh. Worker count still pretty even for both players. Oh, nice little thing. Trying to body block those links there. Good play from Hero. Picking off a whole bunch of them. We have a bunch more roaches coming up. Serral has got his fourth created, or well, planted down. But here we see Hero moving across with the Blink Stalkers. This could be very dangerous. Plus two is almost done already. More Stalkers coming up. The Ravagers are not quite done. The Zergling's going to try and get a little bit of damage in. Just protect those Ravager Cocoons. But this is a big Protoss army. Queens are here to help defend. Roaches, Ravagers, Bile's going down. Decent micro there from here to avoid most of the Bile damage. Guardian Shield helping a ton here. Mm. Alright, Serral seems to be okay. I thought that could have gone a lot worse. Roach speed is almost done. Plus one melee is almost done as well. But yeah, this is going to be a little bit more pressure, yeah? Here is not quite going to give up on this uh, position immediately. <laughs> almost walked into another bar. Woo! Some fancy micro. Well, I mean, just walking up and down micro. But you know what I mean. Looks good. Mm. Well, that one hit. Okay, still tickling around a little bit. Hero just seeing if he can get anything done. Serral's trying to buy time. He's trying to get a couple more units out. Hero actually right now taking the worker lead. That's a couple of good piles that went down over there. War Prism is going to move across, go into the main base. And I think this is a masterful move. Yeah, there's nothing really to defend here. And a bunch of zealots are going to come out. Charge is not done. So they're not quite as good as they could be. But it is drawing the attention away from Serral while the stalkers are moving on to the third again. These zealots are going to have to be dealt with. The queens are coming back to defend. Stalkers roaming around. Realizing they can't quite get that much done. But these zealots. Yeah. Zealots did a good job. Charge really needs to get done. Plus one armor is on the way. More stalkers moving forward. Where's the war prism at? Ah, it's going in again. It's going in again. Ooh, the queens are not quite in position to see it and get to it. Once again, Yero just trying to distract Serral. Moving in with his stalkers on one side. Big zealot warp in on the other side. He does lose the warp prism. That's not great. The Zerglings are trying to get a good surround on these stalkers. The Ravagers are dealing some good damage. And Yero hasn't quite been able to get that much done. But he is going to get rid of the fifth base. I think he's going to be happy with that. Army size is in favor of Serral. But still, Hero has the worker count. I mean, 58 workers, that is not where you want to be as a Zerg player. 
And I'm pretty sure Serral's really gonna wish he was a little bit, um, a little bit higher in the drone count. Robo Bay is finishing up. We'll see what uh, Hero wants to make out of that. Disruptor's gonna be the choice. I like Disruptor's. Second War Prism is out. It's moving across now with a bunch more Zealots inside. They do have their uh, Zealot legs, the charge upgrade done. It's gonna make them a lot faster, a lot stronger. At the same time, we have a counter attack here. Good cancel by Serral, getting those Zerglings to do a little bit of work on the other side of the map. Just to get himself in a good position. Ooh. Oh, gotta be careful there. That's a lot of Stalkers. That's so much Stalkers, and Stalkers in these numbers are actually pretty decent. Zerglings moving forward. Good Blink Micro there, avoiding all the Biles. But yeah, they're gonna come in once again, and this fourth base is now gonna be in trouble. Serral really doesn't want to be stuck on three bases. Okay, a couple of Biles. This base isn't done yet. It's actually just been remade. Hero looking pretty good. Baneling Nest is coming up. I think that's a good choice. If the Banelings do connect with these Stalkers, they can deal a ton of damage. Ooh, it's going to be Disruptor drops. Disruptor. I said Disruptor a little bit funny. I can't talk today. It's a Saturday morning when I'm recording this. Hoping to post it on uh, Saturday evening. So yeah, my, my talking abilities so far. Uh, negative zero. Negative zero. I can't even say math now. Well, you know what I mean. I can't talk. Whoa, Disruptor. Decent hit there. Ooh, oh, big hit on the Ravagers. So much microing needed here. That was a big hit. Those disruptors got a lot of supply from Hero's army. But yeah, that, that eco lead for Hero, so far, just really being the difference. Hero's able to continue making stalkers. Oops, production's gone. And his army supply is now in the lead. The disruptor doesn't get anything done. And he can just keep on doing this. His supply is now at 169. Nice. There are some Zerglings across on the other side, but yeah, there are Stalkers there. There's a couple of workers there that are not doing anything. These Zerglings are getting in a good position, but aggressive blink forward, yeah. Serral's army is going to start going down. Look at the supply. Serral is now in double digits worth of supply, and these Stalkers are not stopping. Disruptor. <laughs> Cute little micro still. GG. Hero. I almost said Serral. Hero takes game number one. Game number two in this series will take place on Neo Humanity. And uh, yeah, Hero's got a comfy 1 0 lead so far. What's Serral gonna do to bring it back in this series? That was a weird game. Very back and forthy, because initially with Serral's attack, I thought he did well. But I don't think he did enough damage. And he just couldn't get his eco up to the point where Serral likes it to be. Serral likes to have that eco. He likes to be able to first focus on that, then move forward. I think he was expecting to do a little bit more damage with his big queen push that he did. But yeah, just not able to get anything done. There's the Stargate coming up from Hero. Oh, wonderful. It is the way that Protosses like to play. It makes a lot of sense. Getting those oracles out, pretty darn useful. Hello, Zerglings. Busy moving around, just making sure that nothing odd is happening. That Hero is not trying to pull the wool over Serral's eyes. <sighs> Slow motion adept. adept. I still can't talk, so apologies if I sound like a blooming idiot. I mean, you know, it happens. We all of those days. Also, I'm feeling a little bit silly in the second game. No idea why, but hey, let's have some fun while we cast this. I mean, this is just a pleb review. No need to be so serious. Ooh. No need to be so serious about the StarCraft. It made me think of something, and I kind of wish they... I don't know, maybe they are still around. At least not where I live, but, you know, they were around the world. There was something, and I heard this somewhere recently, and I have no idea why. where. It might have been in uh, StarCraft streamer's stream. They were talking about Barcraft. And this sounds to me like the greatest thing. I remember whew, 2014, 2015. They used to be quite popular. And, and Blizzard actually used to put it on the Battle.net launcher. 
um, about where the closest bar crafts were. Like I say, they were never in my country. But the concept was, you go to a pub somewhere, you go to a bar, and there's StarCraft on the TVs while you're having a couple of drinks with your friends and stuff like that. That sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely glorious. Now, where I live, we have a tradition that we do that, but with, you know, normal sports, like rugby especially. We, uh, we really do the rugby thing very well. So, um, we, we normally have that, but that happening with StarCraft sounds like the most fun you could ever have. Especially during the big tournaments. Oh, that's a big mistake there from Hero. Losing that Oracle for just four kills? I don't think that's worth it. This one's also sitting on almost half health. Mm, take that back. It's almost dead now. I don't like what Hero's doing here. Sending in a couple of Adepts, and by a couple I mean four. He has got his third. Almost done. Okay. Another Oracle does come in. Oh, he's taking so much damage there. Uh, he's got seven workers. Mm, eh. I don't know if I like that. Roach Warren, Twilight and a Forge. But yeah, I think something like a Barcroft would still definitely work. Starcraft is very much still enjoyed by a ton of people. I mean, just the fact that this tournament exists is testament to how the game is still popular. Now, I know they were doing other esports as well. But the fact that StarCraft still got so many viewers and, you know, got the attention. And I mean, it was a big tournament with big prize money. Ooh. Yeah, luckily, the Queen's a little bit misrallied there. Yeah, but it means that uh, StarCraft definitely is a game that still has a lot of supporters. I enjoy watching StarCraft. I love a good old StarCraft tournament. I always get a little bit stuck in them where... You know, I intend to just have it on my second monitor and then be doing something else. And then after like an hour of kind of side-eyeing the games, I just get absorbed and I stop what I'm doing and then just watch the games. Yeah. So there you go. There's my story for the day. Barcraft, yay or nay? How do we feel about that? I don't think you can really do something like that online. Because then you're essentially just drinking alone, which, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not that bad, but it kind of makes me feel a little bit sad. <laughs> it's like, oh. I mean, let's be honest, no one really wants to go outside, but still. Okay, we get an Overseer, Sarah's going to be scouting around, it's going to be seeing what can be done. So far, no major damage from either side. Sarah's work account, a lot healthier in this game. I think he's going to be much more satisfied struggling to I was about to say much more happy he was going to be much more happy with his situation but then I decided to go with satisfied which is definitely a better word lol. bunch of defense is being set up here overseer gonna be stopped by those two stalkers these are uh, oracles still trying to get something done gotta be careful they are so low on health three more workers going down that's a 14 in total. I mean, I guess that's pretty decent. 14 workers in exchange for zero. I think Hero's going to be happy with that, actually. That's the value of the Oracles. They can always pop back in. Now, I do wonder if he had two extra. How much more could he have gotten done? I think losing those two is still a big mistake. Now, what's nice on this map with the Zerg taking this base is you get your creep across nice and quickly. Now, Serral has blocked out this middle pod, which means that there's no real direct route for the Protoss to get to. He just really wants to give himself enough time to get into his macro cycle to make sure that he's going to be in a strong position going into the late game. Getting an Evo Chamber, getting an Infestation Pit. He's going to be looking to go into the Hive after that. Are we going to see something like Lurkers? Or is it just going to be for some more Zergling upgrades as well as his armor upgrades? Probably a couple of spellcasters as well. I'm expecting a few Vipers. Maybe some Infestors. Infestors pretty decent against Stalkers if you can get a Fungal on them. Oracle's dipping in once again just to get a couple of Revelations off. Keep an eye on what the Zerg player is doing. There we see the Hive. This is a very forward base here from uh, Hero. It is pretty unscouted though, right? 
Nah, never mind. Serral knows it's there. Ooh, Zerglings run away! There's the stalker ball. <laughs> Takes a couple of bites out of the probe. Overseer's gonna move around. He's still scouting around. Upgrade wise, plus one done for both players. Well, plus one attack, plus one melee. Now we see a little bit of a split push. The Zealot's gonna come in from one side. But Serral has split his army really well. His defense looks pretty solid. I love the drone that's going with to attack. Yes, please. Go aggressive drone. A little bit of a misclick there. Getting the hotkeys. Just a tiny bit messed up. Not an end of the world. But, uh... Yeah, Hera's trying to pull Serral apart here in two different directions. But, so far, Serral doing fine. The two workers that did fall were the aggressive drones. So... Too major. Actually, there's still one here. No, they are still here. Never mind, the aggressive drones are still there. It was from this base. <laughs> nice. Roach is finding the zealots halfway through. Uh, I don't think the zealots are quite gonna win that one. Stalker's moving forward once again. Oracle's helping out. The zealots do take quite a beating though. Okay, now we have a lot of banelings coming up. Ooh, that revelation on everything kind of makes it very hard to see. Ooh. Bad on the eyes. Serral's gone up to five bases. He is mining out the gold here, so that he's got easy access into this side base. Splitting up his army once again to be able to defend against the split push from Hero. Hero's also getting double immortal at this stage, which I think is pretty good. Oh, nice little surround coming in here from Serral. Banelings get a couple of hits. Oh, he actually could have gotten those workers in the transfer. That's a good hit on those Banelings, though. Those Stalkers taking a lot of damage. They do retreat to the Shield Battery Overcharge. But Serral's now going to focus on this base. The Banelings are going to go in, and we're going to see a lot of workers. Good splits from Hero. Actually, only seven. I really expected a lot more. Banelings connecting with some of the Stalkers once again. Not really getting any kills. I'm just going to put Hero on the front foot once again. Lots of reinforcements coming, lots of Banelings. It's a lot of links in general, actually. Banelings are going to try and move forward, get some good hits. Stasis Ward doing pretty well, but Corrosive Bile. Serral on top of his game there. Hero is being really annoying with these, uh, with these Stalkers. He's just constantly, he pushes forward, then he retreats off Creep. Uh, the Banelings are starting to get some connections here. The Roach is going to push forward, but there's a lot of Immortals now. Three Immortals, two more coming out. And the Creep Spread just can't quite get out to a point where Serral's going to feel comfortable. Also, Banelings are pretty expensive. Baneling run by going through here. Oh, it's going to get caught by the Zealots. I don't think that's a trade that Hero's going to mind all too much. Rather that than some worker damage. But yeah, Hero just moving about, controlling the Creep. He's actually taking this forward base, which if he can get it, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, Serral does spot it early, so I think he's going to try to get the cancel. But here comes Stalkers. Stalkers and Immortals. Banelings rolling forward. The Immortals are happy to take the hits from the Banelings. One Immortal does go down, but another one does come forward. Zealot's coming in from a side angle here. A very back and forth game, but at the same time, a massive Ling run by into the natural. Splits off going into the main. Recall had to be used. This is going to allow Serral to clean up this position. Seven probes going down. The perfect distraction. And Serral still gets a lot of his links out. This base gets cancelled. The Zergling gets put there. Just to make sure that doesn't happen again. 13 probes going down. Serral looking in a good position now. He is pretty much maxed out. Hero. Not so much. Oh, good little surround here by these Zerglings. Blink away. It's a lot of Immortals, but a lot of Zerglings. And Zerglings are pretty decent against those Immortals. Also, the Immortals do slow down the army quite a bit. I like Burrow. I really like Burrow being researched here. Once again, we could see Serral going for a little bit of a run by. Getting the outlying expansions for either player is definitely going to be pretty tricky. But here we go. Hero's trying to take the forward base. Quick cancel here from Serral. There are Stalkers on the other side. They do get found. Hero's now trying to bring his army together. Serral retreating back to the safety of Creep. 
He's getting a bunch of workers now. 23 from these banelings. Once again, Hero refusing to put a unit in his wall. And again, there are Zerglings in the natural, in the main. 25 workers. I love the burrow. The burrow is so good. Those Zerglings can just stay there. Meanwhile, we have 38 banelings on the way. The economy for Hero has been shredded down to almost nothing. 54 workers versus, versus 81. Now we see Serral pushing forward. That's a lot of banelings. They are hitting some of the immortals. Trying to get through to those squishy stalkers in the back. Uh, I'm not super happy with the control on those banelings. I thought uh, Serral could have uh, really got some good explosions there. Once again, playing the patient game though. Pulling back to creep. Getting more banelings. This is going to be an attack that is a little bit desperate here from Hero. Banelings pushing through. Once again trying to get onto the Stalkers. They're doing a decent job. The Immortals are tanking a lot of the hits. The Queens are pushing forward along with the Roaches and the Zerglings. And Hero seems to be out of this game. The supply is massively in favor of Serral. He is now pushing Hero all the way back. But once again... Never mind. I was going to say once again he retreats, but there we go. Serral ties it up in game number two. And so we move into our final game of the series. It is on the map Babylon. 1-1. Serral playing a really solid game in that previous map to bring it level. Once again, no funny shenanigans coming from either player. Now we'll have to see who's got what it takes to take the series off the other one i am very glad i uh, decided to cast this because it has been absolutely tight these players really really showing that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other which makes sense they're the best in the world they're both top 10 i don't even think i spoke about their rank by the way i said that serral is the top rated uh zerg and proto and here is the top rated protoss protoss is the top rated hero lol um, but yeah, in terms of rank, Serral is rank 1, Hero rank 8. Okay, so both top 10, both really up there. And um, yeah, you can clearly see this is top quality StarCraft 2. Once again, we see the Stargate, the weapon of choice. Now, Serral's natural did get blocked, so he took the third over here. Um, yeah, otherwise nothing too major game seems to be normal so far Ling's moving around probe just trying to poke away keep scouting here comes the adept everything really pretty solid pretty normal we're probably going to see the oracles again i don't actually see why hero would change that his oracles have been getting a lot of good work for him hello mr adept where did you go oh you're going to come be annoying here with the natural just gonna go pokey pokey with your little light stick whatever that thing is the devs are just trying to be captain america with their shield they don't feel like throwing it and having to go fetch it though so they get a little thing that shoots out of it if it is a shield otherwise it is a uh, gun that forces you to do an arm workout whenever you try to use it maybe that's true for most modern day guns anyway I don't know. I don't use them very often. The most I've ever used is like a, a BB gun, you know, that shoots those little plastic bullets, and that was when I was a kid. <laughs> and a pellet gun, I've used one of those too. Not a big fan of them myself, if I'm honest. No offense to people that are, but uh, I'm, I'm a little bit clumsy, so anything that's slightly dangerous, I don't really trust myself with. Um, yeah, I, I'd be the guy that'll shoot myself in the foot while, you know, trying to just look at something, I don't know. Three workers going down against this oracle. Three workers going down from this oracle. There we go. Somewhere there is a sentence that makes sense. Second oracle moving in. Third base is coming up. Everything looking peachy cheese. Whoa! Disco oracle. Oh, never mind. Disco's done. Moving on. Back to work. That's what oracles do in their free time. They have a quick disco just to get themselves refreshed, get themselves in the mood. And then God. All right, I'm sounding very old. I'm talking about BB guns and discos. Just pretend that I don't. Um, I didn't say any of that. Three more workers. Uh, losing another oracle. Hero. I don't like how you throw your oracles away. You play like me. 
Mind you, he's getting good worker kills though. So I guess I can't complain too much. It is seven workers for a single oracle, which I guess is not bad. Roach Warren, once again, plus one, blink. Overlord comes in, scouts it all. He's going to be happy with what it sees. Cyril's going to know what he can do, how much drones he can make, and if he needs to be a little bit aggressive. He is moving around with the Zergings as well, just trying to pick off a little bit here and there. Ooh, a pretty exposed base here, if I've ever seen one. That's nice. Yeah, I'll get a couple of worky kills on the way. This Stalker, good luck trying to stop all those Zergings. Very nice. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. Our Oracle's on the other side. Okay, which means that uh, Cyril's going to be after defending on point now. Ooh, they're going to go straight into the main. And we could see a lot of workers going down right now. The Zergings have come back to help defend. That's actually not bad. Cyril looking very, very good here. A couple of other Zergings here catching the rest of these adepts. Yeah, nine workers in total versus five probes, so... That, lol. That pylon does get found by the Zerglings. It's cancelled last minute. I think here is going to try to be a little bit aggressive. He's going to make a gateway here. He's going to be warping in and just try to push forward with Blink Stalkers. I don't think he wants this game to go very far. Or at least not into the late game. He wants to try to take Serral in the mid game here with a continuous blink stalker push plus one coming out as well as road speed for Cyril I think he's gonna be pretty fine yep there's the gateway good warp in position here which means that uh, here's gonna be able to consistently attack into this third base location which is what he's kind of setting up for now Cyril is in the lead economically just a little bit but he also has does have a lot more army what else are we going to see? We're seeing charge coming up. Okay, all the stalkers are grouping together now. Here is going to be careful. Okay, he's actually blocked off his... <laughs> he's blocked off his main base. Uh, his natural. Which I think is good. Okay, here comes the stalkers trying to get rid of the rocks. That's a good little idea. Just make sure that the uh, ability for Serral to wrap around and... Uh, around him is not quite there these zerglings do get in a very good position though these stalkers are struggling to get anything done they have to retreat all the way back the creep spread is nice and far forward with the queens roaches and zerglings now Sarah's gonna be able to defend this quite nicely here is supply is definitely not where he wants it to be he's trying to get aggressive but I don't think this is gonna work Sarah's army supply is just way more he's up in bases he's up in workers I mean, not much in terms of the worker card, but enough. Six more stalkers being warped in, yeah? At the same time, there's a big zergling run by going through here. They're going to aim for the cannon, try to get rid of some workers at the same time. Stalkers are still coming in. That's nine probes going down. Now Serral's in a big worker lead. The Oracle does eventually come rushing home. These stalkers are going to continue trying to push into this space little bit of a surround nothing major i don't think Cyril's gonna mind if he has to you know kind of give up this base oh big surround coming in your zerglings from both sides spreading themselves out making sure they can catch the blink oh no this is not a good position for hero to be in he overstayed his welcome a little bit and these stalkers are being cleaned up the roaches the zerglings the queens they're chasing them all the way back to the gateway hero doesn't have an economy behind this now this forward warp in position is going to be stopped. The Zerglings continue pushing onto the Stalkers. And there's just not any left. Hero is struggling right now. Serral's going to continue pushing. He's rallying everything. A huge amount of Zerglings on the production tab. They're going to keep pushing forward. GG. In a bit of a decider of a final game. Serral takes the series 2-1. to one. I hope you enjoyed this one. This was a really great series. I had a lot of fun casting it. If you did like it, make sure to hit the like button. Or just, you know, press it. Either one. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more StarCraft 2 content. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.